Hey everyone, my name is Larry Snow, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at two resources that analyzes Facebook groups. I'm very excited about to show you this, and if you are on Facebook and you are a business owner, you probably are familiar and you should be familiar with Facebook pages. Uh, and on Facebook pages, they have a great detail in analyzing your Facebook page under something called Insights, Facebook Insights. It gives you demographics, best time to post, your reach, your engagements, a whole lot of data. Facebook Groups, on the other hand, through Facebook has nothing. So you have to go to a third party. Hence, here we are looking at two of these resources. One is called Gritix, G-R-Y-T-I-C-S. The other one's called Sociograph.io. I'll have the links in the description. And let's take a look at Gritix and Sociograph. Gridix has a freemium model, so uh, that's the one I'm on. That's the one we're going to do the demonstration on. And of course, since we're talking about Facebook, you have to log into your Facebook account so that Gridix can get the details. So we'll do that. Also, under the free account, you get up to four groups that you can have in your group's dashboard. You can have open public groups. You can add those in as I did here. Protection and security training and Copus executive protection are both public groups and I did that just to show you a comparison. A security driver and training group is a closed group of which I am an admin of. So let's take a look at view all stats for security driving and training group. One of the downsides of having a free account on Gridix is that you have to manually update your data. And if you see down here on the right hand side, it says update on the way. So previously to the recording this, I clicked the update button and it will take some time to update. So we're looking at August 27th, 2016 to from August 8th, 820 to 827 of 2016. Uh, but that's fine because you'll get an idea of what this is all about. First off, we have uh, reactions. We have had 201 reactions in a week. It gives you a uh, description of what the reactions are, 31 comments, 20 posts, and then it gives you the active members. So out of 2,700 known members, 100 of them are active. Engagement score. Now, we'll get it to metrics in a little bit. Uh, activity score is over in the metrics as well. Former 11, so, we, so the security driver training group has lost 11 members. And it gives you a nice uh, picture, a mosaic of top engaged, which is kind of nice, and how many posts that those people have made or contributed to the group and why they are in the top 10. Next up, we have group interactions breakdown and the post types and the top posts. If it says no message, that is a share from another group or page without uh, explanation or description of that share. So when you share something, you have the option to add a description to that share. If you don't, it'll come up in Gridix as no message. Okay, so that's the summary, the group activity. It'll give you a breakdown of reactions and likes for that day, <clears throat> which is kind of nice. Gives you a nice breakdown. Uh, and then you go into post stats, top posts, uh, and what the score is. And again, we'll get into the metrics in a little bit. Uh, there's a post and comments list. So it gives you a complete uh, breakdown for that week. Uh, how many posts were deleted. Now I'll come down here to engagement tools. We can, or I can, engage with members. Obviously these are, I need to upgrade. <laughs> uh, and then you can generate the wall of fame. And uh, you can even exclude some people if necessary, if you don't want them on the wall of fame. So that was that mosaic we saw under the summary. 
Let's go back to that. So this, you can, uh, over on the right-hand side here, it says export as a mosaic. If you click on that, you'll take this image, you can download it and then upload it to Facebook and and share it and you know name them, highlight their names and everything and say, awesome job, thank you for contributing to the group, that type of thing. So let's take a look at the metrics uh, definition. What I like about this is that they're all upfront about what they're ranking people as or giving them engagement score and that type of thing. It's just math. There's no hidden algorithm like on clout or anything like that. So take a look at here and you'll understand why they're giving you an activity score or why they're giving you an engagement score and that type of thing. So that's a quick look at Gridix. Um, I like it. I mean, let me know what your thoughts are. Post in the comments below. I really like this and I've been using it uh, off and on. Uh, obviously, I haven't updated it lately, but I've been testing it out for about a month and uh, I'm quite happy with it. I, I and, and truthfully, any data you get on Facebook groups is useful uh, because with Facebook not giving anything for you, you have to go out and seek them. And uh, I think Gridix has done an excellent job here. Now we're going to switch over to Sociograph and let's take a look at that. And Sociograph is much different than Gridix. Um, and I think it's for the worse. You can let me know after we go through it. But when you uh, put in your Facebook credentials, you have to say yes to pages in order to get access to all of their uh, analytics. So you'll have all the pages that I'm an admin of as well as the groups. So you can put in public. Uh, you can do a search for the public group and it will pop it up here and give you an analytics for that. But I haven't figured out a way to store it somewhere without having to retype it all the time but it will give you the public uh, groups as well. So let's take a look at the stats. Now when you first come in here, it's gonna scan. I'm just gonna stop because it will continue to go for years. So for this period of time, it'll give you a nice breakdown day by day. Post likes comments, post likes comments all the way through. That's nice. And then I'll give you the same detail here in uh, totals, 184 comments, 1,700 likes, 21 photos, 10 videos. So it's a nice breakdown of the post types. Here are all the posts during that time frame, all the way going all the way back to uh, July. Uh, how many visit visitors came in? And then they have this rating feature here, uh, which is f uh, post plus likes, plus comments, and, um, and then they have this karma thing, which is the sum of received likes, shares, comments. And so I guess if you look at it uh, via Gridix, it's the engagement score or activity score, if you want to compare the two, that, and they call it karma. Uh, they have likes, posts, and comments, and all the totals per visitor which is a nice feature, but Gridix does the same thing. This is not really a comparison to the two. I just wanted to show you both of them. Uh, if you don't like Gridix, you might like Sociograph. And this just goes on for days, um, every visitor during that time frame, And then group growth. Um, and the group growth won't come along until I come back to Sociograph and it will show me the growth. So uh, a lot shorter data, a lot less features than Gridix, but if you want a quick snapshot of how your group is doing, uh, this is probably uh, something you want to take a look at. So let me know what you think. Do you like Sociograph? Do you like Gridix? Do you like having these types of features? Do you like these types of videos? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel and all the videos, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.